Hello and welcome to Resident Evil 2 The Board Game. So we're going to take a look at what's inside the box, uh, give a brief description on the rules, we're not really going to go in depth on how to play the game, and uh, we're going to play the first quick scenario, and then in future videos we're going to play the scenarios as they pan out and do the full Resident Evil 2 campaign. So, inside the box. Greeted with this nice um, paperwork from uh, the start of the game, this game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. So that's a nice little touch to uh, have there at the start. And obviously we have our rule book. Quite a, a thick rule book. We've got 23 pages there in the rule book. And the scenario book. So this shows us how to play scenarios from the game. So get into the police station investigating the police station, obviously getting out into the undercover, underground labs and all that kind of stuff. So our scenario book. Then we have various tiles. So many of these sheets with different shaped tiles and areas from the game inside and outside, including double faces. So some of the police station on the back. So there's a fair few of them. We've got one. Two, these have been pre-popped already. That's three. Four. Then we have this slightly different one. This has our doors on there. A few uh, tokens that we're going to be using in the game and our, our walls. Obviously some have been popped out because they've already been put onto their things. And then a lot more tokens here. Um, cards that represent these tokens will come up later. Our player board, so our player card will go on this part of the board and we use our life tracking um, tokens there, which are these little hearts. And then we've got our ammo for our guns, wound markers, uh, item markers, zombies, corpses, all kinds of stuff. We've got two of them boards as well. And in the bottom we have our figurines. Our little minis, so let's get the plastic lid off that. Put that to the side. We have our dice, we'll do these first. So we've got a standard dice that does have an umbrella symbol on it. We have our three blue dice, which are used for wounding or evading in the game. So we have three different types of arrows, which are your dodges. And then two kind of bullet symbols of a single bullet and a double bullet, which is obviously your damage. And then two red dice, which are your big hitting weapons for damage on there. They're mostly damage on there with a couple of blanks. Uh, some little plastic pins, which put our weapons together. We have our cards. So inside this deck of cards, we have our character profiles. So we've got Leon, Claire, Ada Wong, and Robert Kendo. They are your four players. Then we have our enemies. So we've got zombies, zombie dog, the liquor, and I think the others are further down. So then we have our event cards, if you like. So you play using these to play through the game. So we've got our all clears deck there with a nice resi door on the back. Then we've got the yellow or orangey kind of cards which uh, represent a medium danger and we have our red cards which are obviously high danger cards and there's some more these are set up ready to play various scenarios so then we come into the evolved liquor we've got the modified zombie and then we've got boss cards for the g mutant there he is there all these different attacks and how he moves are all there. And then another couple of red cards. So that's those. Then we have a little deck of item cards. So these are obviously our weapons, items such as health, herbs, that kind of stuff. So we've got handguns, knives. These are all the starting weapons, first aid sprays, herbs. All three herbs. So we've got the green herb, red herb. There is a blue herb. And items, keys, jewels. Obviously ammo for our guns, all that kind of stuff, it's all in there. 
different weapons there we are what do we have there we've got the grenade launcher the bow gun the custom handgun some more items and the shotgun more keys herbs sprays got the ink ribbon so you can save your game halfway through key cards submachine gun more keys items all that kind of stuff so these represent locked doors as well and areas to get into more items medals and more ammo so yeah well magnum magnum rounds grenade launcher it's all there everything that you'd see in the resident evil 2 game it's all there to play and then we have our minis so let's bring these up we've got four zombie dogs four male zombies in different poses or well, eight sorry and then four female zombies in different poses we have our four blue characters your character profile so leon kendo claire ada We've got our two liquors two different poses and we have the two big bosses the g mutant two different forms of the tyrant there and underneath is where i keep my tokens for the ammo so these are little dials that you spin around to represent how much ammo is in your gun including the boss health gorge as well so that's everything in the box so we're going to play the starting scenario this is up to four players the starting scenario we're just going to be playing through the campaign and two player probably using leon and claire obviously as you have to and we'll show you how it plays okay first scenario is all set up it's just a beginning scenario to get used to the basics of the game um not all rules are in this scenario i'm not going to go through the rules in depth this isn't a tutorial how to play the game we're just going to have fun but obviously you need to know how what's going on so this scenario is leon and claire obviously split up enough to make their way to the police station which is this tile over here so once we've both got into there that's it we win this scenario if any one character dies then the scenario is over it's a co-op game so if one person dies the whole game's over um, so there's a few items to pick up we've got some green herbs and bullets and there is the shotgun um, so these are represented by a and b tiles on the pickup so the a's are these three and the one b pickup is the shotgun so we know the shotgun is in this room however it is defended by two zombies so to start the game each one person will go first he has four actions so he can use as many um of the actions as long as only four so example he can move four squares but then can't open a door or obviously he can move two squares open a door and then move through the door uh, an attack counts as an action opening and closing doors searching for items and obviously your movement um, attacking is just used by rolling the dice depending what weapon you're using and how many attacks that good that gun has you obviously roll your blue dice and obviously when zombies attack you use those blue dice to try and invade as well and uh, so there's some basic rules we've got some uh, walls you might not be able to see the board pieces are quite dark that is the one downside to this game i found is the tiles are quite dark they are detailed when you can look into them but yeah for purposes of especially the camera you might not see the detail on the tiles it's quite dark that's unfortunate so we've got our all clear card we have one echoes of the darkness card and one undead ambush card in the tension phase so we start off with the action phase i'll make my four moves then we have a reaction phase where the zombies react to our movements. So any zombies that can see our characters or are linked by open door tiles, they will move in to our characters with their reaction phase, depending on their the character's um, movement. So we've got our zombie card here telling us all the details of his movement and attacks. Then we go to the tension phase where we'll pick out a tension card and resolve the effects on the card. Then it will go to my partner's turn. The same will happen and we'll flip through turns until we get to the end. So there's the basics of the game. We're going to run through this first quick scenario now and hopefully we'll make it to the police station. Okay, we're ready to play. So I'm going to be playing as Leon X Kennedy, the rookie cop, and my partner is going to be Claire Redfield. We have been separated in the streets of Raccoon City. We're both equipped with a handgun and a knife, not that the knife can be much use and something i didn't explain is each character has a special ability and weapons that only they can use on their cards for example my character can use a handgun a shotgun and the magnum 
and Claire can use the handgun, the bowgun and the grenade launcher. My special ability is once per activation I can use an item when one or more enemies are in my square without using an evade roll. So normally if you start your turn and there's a zombie on your square you'd have to try and evade them before you can move or use an, an action. Uh, I can do that obviously without using an evade roll. And your special ability? is made in heaven so once per scenario claire may spend an action to heal other another character on the same tile by two levels okay so she's a, a healer essentially so we need to keep claire alive so she can heal me if i do get damaged um also if we're on the same square or a square next to each other we can trade items so you can for example claire can pick up the magnum and then although she can't use it she then can trade it to me and give it to me later on in the game which is more useful for later scenarios so we'll get to that as we go so we start the scenario i'm going to start as leon so i'll get my four actions i'm going to shall I start by shooting i'm going to start by shooting so the handgun use one dice per bullet and you can shoot up to three times in action which we obviously use three bullets i'm going to use two so i'm going to roll my two dice and essentially you got two misses because they are both uh, the dodge symbol so that's two ammos down we'll knock them down and i haven't done anything because the bullet or the sound of the gun is loud the zombie has a reaction and moves forward one square so i now have two actions left so this is quite awkward actually because i'm already pinned myself do i move and knife him or try and run past him maybe so i'm going to move one square onto him and then at my last action, I'm going to try and run away. So I get two dodge abilities, which I dodge. So that is mine up to there. So I've run past the zombie. However, it is now the zombie's turn and he'll react by moving on to my square. He doesn't attack, so he only has one action. So it's just on my square. I just now have to get away from him. So the tension phase. Our card is all clear. Fresh air fills your nostrils, casting aside the sticky scent of blood, at least for the moment. So, all clear on this one, and my and card is go. go. Okay. So you don't have a zombie right in front of you, although there is right. one in your tile. So I'm going to go one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to shoot for my last action. Yeah, so you've only got one action, so you can only shoot one. Oh, he yeah, didn't. so the zombie damage with one bullet point is a knockback, so you get to knock the zombie back. She's going to fall back onto that item. Lovely. So that is your turnover. Yep, no. So the zombies now will react, so she's going to react to your bullet by moving back forward. And now it's the tension phase. Oh, thank God for that. All clear. <laughs> and what do we have this time? So on this one we have a howl in the distance breaks the silence, a long and mournful note for the city of ruin. There we are. So back to my turn and obviously I have that zombie sitting on my square. Um, I could knife but the knife really isn't that good. I only get one attack. So what I'm going to try and do is dodge forward. I've got a dodge so there's one action. Two to move there. I'm going to open the door for three and go in for four. So that's my actions done. The zombie's going to follow me on his reaction. I'm going to have my tension phase. And we have the wind scratches across empty streets, loose, debtors, the only movement in the merciful silence. And that is my turn over. So over to Claire. You have okay. a zombie to contend with. Oh, I've also just realised I didn't knock my bullet down. Oh yeah, let's knock so your ammo do down. That. Um, but this time for my first action, I'm going to shoot as well. Yeah, and how many I'm shots are we going to take? I'm going to shoot two, so I'm going to do this before I forget again. Two shots. <clears throat> ah, that was rubbish. No, so no hits. So the zombie will react by moving forward. Because you've missed her. She's very hungry. Mm. So that's one. You still have three movements left. Or three actions left. And take some more shots and try yeah, and run I'm by. Try and shoot again. So two shots again. Two more shots. Oh, 
Oh, oh we've got a hit, so you can knock her back. <laughs> no point, because she's going to come forward again. Yeah, but you still have two actions left. <clears throat> we're going to try and shoot her down, or...? Yeah, but I'm not going to have much ammo left. Yeah, hopefully we can find some in that item in front of you. Alright, let's try again. Two more shots? Yeah. And you can knock them back again, again onto the item. And you have uh, one action left. Hmm. Run away in the opposite direction. <laughs> no. get pinned into the corner. I'm going to have to move forward, I think. Yeah, can move forward. She can't get you this turn yeah. anyway. Make her move for that door. So on her reaction, she is just going to move forward and face you down. We have the tension phase. Oh god. <laughs> or is it not green? It's not a green one, it's a red one. Not the red one already. It's an undead oh, ambush. A dark silhouette is the only warning before glass shatters to jagged shards and death resumes its tireless pursuit. Spawn two zombies on the same tile as the active character on the closest hazard symbol. Okay, so the hazard people. symbol is the zombie in front yeah. of you. <laughs> There's two zombies coming something. out of the walls. Coming out of the goddamn walls. So you can have up to four basic zombies on one square. Or one large one and two small zombies. And one huge base on a square. If any more are to put on that square, they obviously don't move. So yeah, you have three zombies to contend with. So this isn't looking good for the start <laughs> of the campaign. Um, my turn. So I can move diagonal and obviously left, right, foot and forward and back. Uh, but you can't move diagonal if there is, uh, for example, these corner pieces. So I'm going to go one. Oh, should I have locked the door? No. Two, three, four. I'm going to come and try and get this item. Because this door, I've left this door open, the zombie is going to try and follow me. But obviously it's slow, so I've got plenty of time to get out of there. And we have an all clear. Your footsteps echo on, ominously <laughs> over the ground before the sound is swallowed by the shadows. Now, over to Claire and her three <laughs> zombies. And I've only got five bullets, so I'm oh, pretty screwed. Dear. Yeah, might be worth taking a step back, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm And then taking some shots. So that's one action. So can... also, it might be worth noting as well, I can't. Go yeah, if you go around the corner, you then can't shoot them. You have to have line of sight. So, that was my first action. My second action, I'm going to shoot twice, which only leaves me with two bullets. Oh dear. I need to kill here. Oh, we've got a knockback. So we can knock a zombie back. But that was two. Yeah, because you're only shooting at the one zombie. God they die. both hit the same zombie. So they knock her back. You have, that's, uh, that's two actions, so you've still got two actions left, so you can use your ammo up. May as well. You're going to have to do, and then resort to the knife. So my last two bullets. Or another knock, knock back. back. So we're knocking another zombie back. I'm not doing very good today. <laughs> so is that, that's three actions, you've got one action left. Yeah. So, do you move forward, and then next turn just try and run out the door. you have to leave that item. Or oh, do you stand and fight? Hmm. So if you move forward one square, then this zombie's on only going to be on you, but then next phase you can try and knife her. True, and I can run past one zombie. It's more than one that I can't run past, isn't it? You can run past them, but you need... So the Multiple. one arrow is to dodge uh, a single zombie. The arrow with it, the dashes, is to run past two zombies, and the full arrow is always a dodge, regardless of what base or how many zombies are around you. So there's always a chance to always dodge and run past something. I might. I don't want to waste my last action, so yeah, I might just yeah come forward. And that is to note: you, you don't have to use all four actions. You can waste them, but obviously, sometimes best to use them all. So they move now, don't they? Yeah, they react by moving forward, so a good bit of girl on girl like zombie action there. <laughs> and these two zombies are going to move forward, blocking that door. The tension oh. phase. Oh, thank God for that. It's an all clear. Okay, we needed that. There's a howl in the distance, breaks the silence. 
the same one we've had before. Yeah, there's quite Still. a few of the same. We don't have any more zombos. So, my go, I'm going to move one onto this item. Two, I'm going to search it, so we take out of our shuffled A pile. Oh, I've found a green herb, so if you do take damage, I can try and come and heal you. Okay. So, so this that's tile does. <laughs> Maybe. So, that's two actions. Three and four, move to ready to open the door. The zombies are now going to come into my square by going through that open door. And my tension phase is an all clear. So we have somewhere in the darkness, fingernail scratch against the glass pane, the urgency of sound matching your racing pulse. One of the worst sounds in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn over, so on to you. And you have a zombie on your square. So are you out of that? I'm out of that. Now? I'm so out you so can I'm no longer shoot. Life. So you can either try and run past or try and knife her. Obviously, what's the knife? So you get one attack with mm -hmm. the knife. Um, you can still have an opportunity to push her back or to kill her. Mm -hmm. But you only get the one dice. Okay, well, may as well give it a go. And to note, if, because you're attacking on the same square, if this misses and you get a dodge, the I zombie does dodge. get a free attack on you without you being able to evade. Oh, oh look what are the that. chances? We've Just got this double bullet. That. The zombie is knife <laughs> out of there, out of the game. I'm first pretty attack. sure the first time we played I was better with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> so one zombie down, one action taken. <laughs> and the bird thinks that's hilarious as well. So we have three, three actions left. Right. And two zombies to contend because... with. The knife as well, I have to move to be on the same square as well. You do need to be on the same square to use the so knife. Let's so try the second it. action is to move forward. Come on. So are we going to knife one? We are! Oh my god, two knives <laughs> in a row. After using an entire clip of ammo, <laughs> just pushing them back, we've managed to knife <laughs> two, two zombies. zombies. <laughs> so that's three actions. You have one action left. That's right. Three for three. I'm going for the knife. Oh, oh but you do push it back now. You choose. You can push them onto the item or push them backwards. So it might be worth pushing them backwards. So oh, you've got okay. the chance now to get that item. Yeah, let's move. So push it back. back over there. And then I've got one action left. Uh, no, I think no. that was also. No. You moved. No, you attacked. Yeah. You moved and you attacked twice. Yeah. yeah? Twice, so yeah. that's your four actions gone. I'm going to show keeping count. Yeah. So then the zombie. Yeah, with the reaction, you just actually come back onto your square, so that was a bit pointless. And the tension phase. Oh, that's all right then. We're all clear. A flickering light above dispels the calm for but a moment before returning to a strong, steady glare. Okie doke. Right, now I have some choices to make. So, my first action obviously is going to be open to this door, and I'm going to go through for two. I think I'm going to lock the door for three, so this zombie doesn't follow us in while I'm contending with this zombie. So, one, two, that's three actions taken. I've got one action left and a zombie in front of me, so let's take a couple of shots at him. I take two shots, and I've missed with both. That's awesome. So, the guns are not doing us any favour here. He's going to react to them shots, because I missed. And now it's the actual zombie um, reaction phase, so he's now going to be on my square, which is a, not a good thing, but we're into the tension, and we have another all clear, and we've got the fingernails on the glass pane again. Mm -hmm. So on to Claire with the zombie on your square, are we going to run by, or are we going to try that awesome, amazing <laughs> machete knife that you seem to be wielding? Um, I'm gonna give it a go. Yeah, so the first not? action is to knife the zombie. Even a pushback would be nice. Oh. It's a fail, so you take an automatic hit from the zombie because he's on your square. Um, but because good. you've took damage, you get a free pushback anyway. So you okay. can push him back there. Cool. So now we can get this item if you want. Yeah, Hopefully you've got good. the ammo in there. So, two, so that's two. Three to search. Three for searching. And you have... It is the oh, ammo. One of the chances. So you don't get it yet. You just get oh, the ammo. Um, so you've how many you've had? You've had an attack, a move, a search. So you've got one action left. So you can use that action now to reload your gun That's what I'll do. or move up to the door. No, I'm going to yeah? reload. So how much does it give you? 
Discard this card to increase this character's ammunition die or fragment. Ammunition. 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 <laughs> oh, I only get eight. So you get eight bullets. Darn. So put that in the discard okay. pile over here. Well, that's better than what I was on. Yeah, I've got some ammo back in there in the gun. Where but that is the only ammo in this scenario. Discard pile? Yeah, just to the side's fine. Uh, that's your turn over then, yeah? Yeah. So the zombie's going to react by moving forward again. Uh... Extremely slowly. <laughs> Bird thing, that's funny again. And you get your tension deck phase. You wash up your red one. Oh. No, there's only the one red one in this. But we do have a, a, ye yeah. a yellow one coming We've up. We've just put the yellow one. Oh, you've got it. Great. So you've had both of the bad cards. This is the this? Echoes in the Darkness. Okay. Movement and sounds haunt your steps. Foreboding darkness. Foreboding. Yep. <laughs> Hiding what horror might lurk within. Place an Echoes in the Darkness token on the tile mm. occupied by the next character to activate. Oh, so that's me then. If a yeah. character is on the same tile as this token at the beginning of their tension phase, they may, oh, sorry, they must draw two additional cards. Oh, okay. Right, so that's on my tile, so it's the whole piece, so I'm still in there, which I'm definitely going to be. I have to take two tension cards. Yeah. Not too bad, because now we've had both cards, they're all all clears anyway. So, that's actually not too bad this turn, so pop that in the discard. I've still got a little bit left to read, but just in case the camera's not picking up, there is actually like a wall. Yeah, the tiles are walls. So, you can't come back, I'm not going you back just that have way. to go. That yeah. Way. So it then does say, discard the token at the end of the next activation. If the next character to activate is on the same tile as a boss, this card has no effect. Oh, there we are. We've got no bosses. So, my turn. Not so bad as I thought. <laughs> yes. So I'm starting with that zombie. So I've got the choice of running by or knifing. I'm going to see if my knife is as good as yours first. <laughs> by hitting it with my one dice. No, it's not. I have a rubbish dice uh, knife. So I'm going to knife him. He's going to do me one damage. I'm going to push him back. So I have three actions left. One, two, three. So I can run away from him. So let's try that. I think I do want that shotgun. So I am going to have to try and kill him, really. So yeah, that's a fact. We'll do a shot. We'll do two shots at him. Oh my god. We are not getting good dice rolls today. So I miss, so he's going to come on to me again. Oh, zombie's coming on to me. <laughs> I have two actions left. Oh, I'm going to try and run past him. So we'll dodge past him. Typical, I get the, the bullet there and then move my last one. I remember to the there. echoes of the darkness. So the zombie's going to react just by following me. The echoes of the darkness takes effect. So I have to take two cards. Like I say, not too bad because we've already had the bad cards for this scenario. So we have two all clears. And I think we've read both of them already. In fact, they're both the same card. A flickering light above dispels the card, but only for a moment before returning to a strong, steady glare. And that is my turn over, so over to you and your one zombie that you are contending with. Right, so my first action, I'm going to move on to the square and I'm oh, going okay. to use my magic extra sharp knife. Hopefully. Try and save my ammo. Okay, no, nope. that so didn't you work. Take a damage, <laughs> but you do get to knock him back, leaving that door now yeah. free to open. So then my third action, open, open fourth action in. Okay, now the zombies are going to react and you have a zombie in this new square and she has to move the shortest way to you which is a okay. diagonal move onto your square and this one's going to peek at you through the door. So you now have, again, with two his arms to stretched deal with. <laughs> Stretching through the door, grabbing through as you're trying to close it. Um, that's the reaction phase, so tension phase for Claire. It's going to be all clear now. Yeah. Until we reshuffle the deck. Yeah, we've read that one out already as well. Okay, so on to mine. I really do want that shotgun. Or do we try and just 
So one, two. Do I try and deal with these zombies to get the shotgun or do we just try and escape? Let's have some fun. Let's try and get that shotgun. There's two. So three to open the door. And I'm going to take... Oh, yeah. Two, two shots into these zombies. We've got one knock back. So that's not too bad. Knock our ammo down. So that was one, two, three. That was my turn over. Zombies react. So he's going to follow me around the corner. He's going to come onto my square. And he's going to follow. And we have a nice all clear. It was already read out as well. Okay. Exactly. Over to Claire. <laughs> so if you want to try and shut the door, you do need to make a dodge attack first. Or you can just try and run. I mean, if you can get to this little... Gap, yeah. you can lock them zombies away. That's going to require one, two, three. That would be all your actions, but you have to dodge the first zombie. Try and dodge it then. So you get two dice for your dodging because okay. your dodge value is oh, two. Yeah. Any arrow will be fine. Oh, nice. yeah. So there's one. Open for two. We're going to open for two, go in for three, okay. and then close for four. So the zombies are locked now out of the way, and you are relatively safe. And you get a pointless tension deck because oh, yeah. you know they're all clear. And fresh air fills your nostrils, casting a sickly scent of blood, at oh. least for the moment. Nice. That just reminds me of that candle that you made me sniff. <laughs> the evil candle. Oh my god, I couldn't get that out of my nose for yeah. days. Right, I might need a couple of dice here. Let's take two. No choices. Let's try and dodge away to the shotgun. So first one is a dodge. That's one. I'll try and dodge the second zombie. Oh my god, I've got double hits, but that means the zombies hit me. I've missed dodging at the zombie. Oh, so we're on the same health each then. Yeah, down to caution. our caution. But you have got I do get to knock her back. I think I won't put him on the same square because that's just asking for trouble. I'll <laughs> knock her into that corner there. So that was two. Three to go onto there and four to search. Or grab that shotgun, which is the B card. So I have the shotgun, so obviously only Leon can use the shotgun. And that is that my four, yeah? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. So Zombies are going to react, he's going to come onto there, and move into the room, going to move round. Nice pointless tension deck. We've had that one before. And moving on to Claire. So. You're oh, right, relatively well, okay over there. My first action. Second action to open. Open the door, yeah. Third action to go in. Yeah, so you've got one action left. Do you move closer to that item or try you got any ammo? I've got eight you ammo. Can, oh, you can try and take a shot at the zombie. Yeah, let's try and you. shoot him. How many are you going no, for? One. Just one shot. Oh. Yeah, no, let's try two. Two. Oh, we've no. got a knock back. Not so can knock can him back. To, if you knock there? him there, though, he's going to block your escape. But if you knock him there, he's going to be blocking well, me. But he's going to move again there, anyway. Right? Yeah. So yeah, probably put him okay. there. Was yeah, that your final? Take that, that was my final one, move. Yeah. Yeah. So now I've got five bullets. Okay, and we do know that this item is a herb, so you can essentially heal yourself, and then use your ability to heal me. Although I've got a herb anyway. So. Uh, did you have your tension deck then? Oh no, I didn't. No, sorry. Yeah, your tension deck. And it's the same one I've just read out. And on to Leon's turn. So we do now have that beastly shotgun, which is a two dice roll, and any bullet hole is a death. Basically, it's going to kill him. So let's put this into into use. Where is my shotgun ammo token? We start with five shots. So I'm going to shoot the zombie on my square. Get a nice bullet hole which puts him down. That's one zombie for me. Let's have a zombie count. You've killed two. <laughs> I've killed one. Uh, it's not that ammo token down one. Then we are going to. I'm going to shoot the next zombie as well. Why not? Oh my god, we've missed. Point blank with the shotgun. Have you actually shot anyone? I know. Dreadful shooting <laughs> this time. So because I've missed, the zombie's going to. 
follow me, well, all zombies are going to have a reaction because they've heard the shotgun blast. Oh, he got the gun right in the neck. <laughs> yeah, so two shots left, or two actions left, should I say. I'm going to have to shoot that zombie now, aren't I? Otherwise, it's going to attack mm. me in its turn, so. Nope. Oh, my God. So I've missed again. Because they get an attack. I do get a pushback, but he's going to come in. And one action left. I think I need to heal myself. Or well, then they're both going to be on my square. But they're both going to be on my square anyway, unless I can kill one. And I can take one more hit. But you die because there's two zombies. So wouldn't you take two damage? No, it's okay. only. Only one with the highest threat level will make the attack. It's just harder to uh, to evade. I'm going to have to take a shot and so I need one of them dead. So the zombie near the door is down. Put him out. Two zombies down. One bullet gone. Was that my last turn, was it? Yeah. Oh dear. So zombie phase, obviously she's going to come onto my square. The last tension card, which is not good because now we have to reshuffle it next turn so the red card can come back up. You will shuffle it again. Oh, most likely. <laughs> um, but that's my turn over, so on to Claire, you're free to go grab that item. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. So one, two, three to search. No, it's a green herb, so you have a healing herb now. You have one ability left, so you can either run to the door, shoot the zombie, or use your herb. Oh, that's a good shot. So I'm gonna shoot. Are you sure? You don't really need to, because he's back there. Oh no, unless you, want you the can kill come through there. I was thinking you'd have to. No, I have I'll to come back down confused. here. Yeah. yeah. So that would help you so if I kill him. Yeah, it would help me. But I do have. Well, I say I have the shotgun. It's not done me great amount of help. I'm gonna heal or move up. You I'm gonna move, move up, up and then you're next ready to time. open the door then. Yeah, ready to open the door but also ready to shoot that zombie. Yeah. Who I he's now to. going to move forward yeah. onto you away from the door. Um, so let's reshuffle this tension deck. He's being shuffled. Don't need that red card now. No, we don't. <laughs> We both got to get out. I can't remember. Yeah, we both have to escape to complete it, so. Well, Leon best hurry up then. <laughs> yeah, take your cards. I thought what he was supposed got? to be the hero of this game. No. Oh, we're okay, we're all yeah, clear. good. So we've read all the all clears now. Uh, on to my go. I think I'm, well, I've only got two shots left. And there's some zombies near the end, so let's try and just run past this zombie now. We've evaded with one. Two, three, four. So I'm going to run right down to this door for all my turns and save my herb for the next go, I think. So I'm well clear of this zombie who's going to try and follow me. I'm not going to bother locking that door. And we're all clear. So move on to Claire's go. All right. Are you going to try and just escape through there or take down this zombie for me? How many bullets I mean, you got left? I've got five. Okay. So if you want, you could put three shots into it. Just to try and get that yeah. kill. So, like I say, I've got the shotgun to deal with the last one and if we I need to. And I've still got one action to open the door. Yeah, plenty of actions. It's only a shoot oh, no, is only one. one action is shooting. It's how many ammo you right, use for that action. Look, then. Yeah, oh, we've, we've got, got a got kill. Him. One on one dice. Good job, you use three. Yeah, one, Puts you on three zombie kills. Nice. So you got three actions left. My second action, I will open the door if you would yeah. kindly do so. So two actions. Third action in. And what are you going to do with the last one? I'm going to hide on the, the door. <laughs> yeah. So we can't get to you. And I think that's my go over. Tension phase. You get an all clear. So well, my... moves first before the tension phase. It does, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, you can move him up or down because move him they're down both closer. Because... Yeah, moving, yeah, moving yeah, away moving from the police there. station. So, my first turn, we are opening the door. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go there because the zombie's going to move in, mm -hmm. but then we've both got clear line of sight. Yep. But the real Please tension. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh. It is all clear. We're no. fine. 
So you can, you are free to escape or take some shots at the zombie so we can get away. Well, How many shots? I've got shot? two shots left. Okay. But because my knife did um, me so good last time, I'm half tempted to jump on his square and stab him <laughs> and then run off. <laughs> It's up to you. No, I'm going to use my last two shots. Last two ammo. Not that it's done any good throughout the game. Mm -hmm. I know you failed. <laughs> the ammo's gone and the zombie reacts by jumping onto your square. Right, now. Now are we going to knife? knife. <laughs> so, second action is to knife him. I think you've put in my zombos there. <laughs> Oh, you knock back knock and he back. can well, he can go up or down. Which way do you want him? You can knock him back onto me. I don't mind. I've got the, the shotgun. Well, he's, he's going to move back, isn't he? He will react here. Yeah, yeah so. jump him back then. So how many is that? Is that two actions then? Yeah. So you've got two actions left. You can run next to the door ready to yeah, open it. I'll do that. Move yeah. next to the door. There we are. Now, because it's, I'm close now, even though it's your go, so he's going to react by coming onto my square, which is awesome. And your tension, you are all clear. Nice. So my go, right, shotgun time. Let's deal with this last sunbo. Yes, he's up, he's down, nice. shotgun to the face. That puts us on three zombie kills each. Nice. Nice little draw. So let's knock that ammo down. That is one action, two, three, four moving up. But can we escape without any more zombies attacking us? Yes, yes we, we are all clear. Which means you are free to open the door yep. and escape. <laughs> let's get out. <laughs> um, I think you still have to take it. Attention. Attention, since it's the end of the turn. Oh, I thought that was going to be a red one then. But we're all clear. And my turn, because the door's open, I'm free to escape. No. So no complete. We had a lot of trouble at the start getting that red card early and you yeah. getting swamped. <laughs> I thought we were done done for right at the start. I mean, I've only got one health left. You've got two health left. Yeah. Even though we had herbs, we didn't end up didn't using use them. them. I've got a few bullets left. We did get through quite a bit of ammo. You used all your ammo twice after picking the pickup up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, not a bad scenario. Got through it quite quick. There's more advanced rules and bigger boards in the scenarios to come. So hopefully you'll join us for them. Um, we'll get it set up and we'll hopefully we'll get through this campaign relatively unscathed. Yeah. We shall see. We have zombie dogs and lickers to deal with next. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, guys. Basic rundown of the opening scenario for the Resident Evil 2 board game. Uh, both really enjoying this. Yeah, it's I really like it. A good it. game. I do like the way you can move the tiles and make your own board, and it represents um, <laughs> scenes from the game. So, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.